Hi, it's Iwana from over at my YouTube channel and blog, Mr. Spirit. I create videos with one goal, to help you find balance in a productive, organized, and creative lifestyle. Over on my Instagram, you'll also see that I'm a huge fan of using a bullet journal, and I tend to keep it practical and functional to help manage my life as a student taking a course, helping to teach another course at university, working on a big four accounting summer internship, and running a business while keeping up with my fitness goals as well. But as I said, no matter how busy I get, I always want to find time to get a little bit creative. And it's nice to have some go-to stylish ideas for stepping up the aesthetic of my bullet journal without spending ages or having to be artistically inspired. Washi tape is my go-to, but it can be tough to figure out how to make it actually look great so in this video, I'll walk you through three unique ways to add some classy embellishments without any crafty experience or skill. Today's video is sponsored by The Washi Tape Shop, a stationary brand based out of my hometown in Toronto, and they have some of the most modern and classy tapes that I've ever seen, and I've been lucky enough to be working with them for over two years now. I'm always delighted to hear about the new designs that they release, and recently they've even begun offering free worldwide shipping on all their orders, which they're very excited about. If you order from them, use my code MISTRALSPIRIT to get 10% off. And all the tapes that I'll be using in my three examples are from the Washi Tape Shop. Now once you've seen this video with these three designs, make sure to also check out my channel for part one with three more totally different ideas. For this video series, I've put together six ideas in total. So the first style that we're going for is a little bit of a collage vibe happening. You can always print out some nice images as well, but from time to time, it's fun to look through some old magazines and repurpose ones that no one's touched in a while. In this case, I found a perfectly cute looking bookcase and flower vase. So here's how to actually layer the washi tapes though to frame your subject. First, you'll want to use a wide washi tape as a background, or you can also find some neutrally colored cardstock or old beige envelopes to glue as a base background. Then I generally run one thinner washi tape through that background usually fairly offset, not right in the center. Next, you can glue on your main picture and add some kind of accent tape. Um, by accent, I mean a bold, bold color that'll sort of tie together the theme of your spread. Also, a few little stickers is the finishing touch that you'll need to make the style really pop. This next one turned out so great every time I've done it, but you might need some kind of thin permanent marker if ballpoint doesn't work for you. Choose a fairly unpatterned or neutral looking tape to write your titles on, and you'd be surprised how great this looks if you do it consistently throughout the spread. I've put together three ideas here. One uses a thin solid colored tape, one with a simple regular tape, and one uses a bit of an overlay method where you use a tape underneath, and then uh, you can use some a light colored sticky note on top. This last method works really well if you want to use a darker tape that's hard to write on with a black pen or a black marker. Finally, the third idea is perhaps one of the very simplest ways to add color to your page without spending a lot of time on it. Using a solid colored thin tape, you can create dividers to either emphasize a title or separate parts of the page. And if you want to go even bolder, you can use them to outline a box on the page as well. Again, adding doodles like spirals, bars, or bubbles is a great way to dress down the style and make it a little bit more casual. Just make sure to choose a marker or a pen color that goes really well with the solid color that you've chosen. So I like to limit my color scheme per page to about two or three colors maximum. And that's a wrap. Those were three very time-saving but very creative ways to add some decoration to your bullet journal. There are so many other ways to get creative with simple stickers and washi tape. And as a reminder, if you want to grab some of your own washi tapes to play around with, with free international shipping, check out the washi tape shop and use my discount code MISTRALSPIRIT for 10% off. Don't forget to click the link in the description to watch part one of this video as well with three more ideas to embellish your journal. See you there.